Tonight, it's volcanic ash that's falling and filling the streets and rivers in Chile after the Calbuco volcano erupted twice this week. Flights as far away as Buenos Aires, Argentina are being canceled. Michelle Miller is following this. Wow. The back-to-back -back eruptions of Chile's Mount Calbuco less than 24 hours of each other came with little warning, forcing the evacuations of nearly 4,500 residents. A state of emergency was declared. Hiker Waldo Flores was trapped on the mountain. I tried to stay above ground, he said. The explosions were frequent and very strong. Dramatic video shows clouds of gas billowing nine miles into the atmosphere, creating an amazing display of lightning. That ash came back to Earth, covering homes and vehicles. But scientists are watching closely for a different reason. Volcanic gases have been shown to have a cooling effect. The massive eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991 lowered global temperatures by as much as one degree. But they say even smaller eruptions like this one in Chile can also make a difference. It's like a mirror. Allegra Legrand is a climate expert with NASA. Once these gases make it to the stratosphere, they're converted into particles that literally reflect the sunlight and prevent the sunlight from coming into the Earth's surface and warming it up. This is a small component of why we're not as warm today as the climate models predicted we would be seven years ago. Well, Scott, there are now concerns about a third eruption as residents in the capital city of Santiago, some 600 miles away, expect a shower of volcanic ash to arrive by nightfall. Michelle, thank you.